Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to multiply decimals. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of multiplying decimals and showing you how to do it in a step-by-step -step manner. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to write down a decimal multiplication equation right here. So we're going to do, uh, let's say, two 0.28 and then we're going to multiply it by something like 6.2. Now the strategy is actually fairly simple. You want to start off by multiplying those numbers as if there were no decimals in them. So you want to take these decimals and just imagine that they're not there. So we're going to uh, multiply the numbers without the decimals. So we're going to do 2 times 8 is 16. So we're going to put the 6 down here. We're going to bring the 1 up there. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is going to give us 5, just like that. 2 times 2 is going to give us 4, just like that. All right, so we have 4, 5, 6 right here, and now we're going to multiply the 6 over here. 6 times 8 is going to give us uh, 48, but we have to start off by bringing the 0 over there. So 48, we put the 8 over there, uh, and then we bring the 4 up here. 6 times 2 is going to give us 12, plus the 4 is going to give us 16. Bring the 6 here, bring the 1 up there. And then 6 times 2 is going to give us 12, plus the 1 is going to give us 13. So what we have to do is obviously add these together. This is just regular multiplication, uh, as if there were no decimals. 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 8 is 13, 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 3 plus 1 is 4, 1 plus 0 is 1. So now we have this number down here, but this number is way too big. This number is 14,136. It's way too big. What we need to do is we need to now incorporate the decimal. So we need to figure out how many decimal spots there are in these numbers. So how many numbers are to the right of the decimal? In this first number, there are two numbers to the right of the decimal. And in the second number, there's one number to the right of the decimal. Therefore, two plus one is going to give us three. So we need three numbers to the right of the decimal. One, two, three. Put the decimal right there. Our answer is 14.136. Three numbers are to the right of the decimal. Let's go over one more example. Let's say we did something like 3.32 uh, and we're going to multiply that by 2.4. So once again, we're going to multiply as if uh, there are no decimals. So 4 times 2 is going to give us 8. 4 times 3 is going to give us 12. So we bring the 2 down here and the 1 up here. 4 times 3 is going to give us 12 again, plus the 1 is 13. It's going to look something like that. 1, 3, 2, 8. Now we start off by, once again, adding the 0 right there. 2 times 2 is going to give us 4. 2 times 3 is going to give us 6. And then 2 times 3 is going to give us 6 again. Now we add these numbers, 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 6 is 9, 1 plus 6 is 7. Now once again, this number is way too big, 7,968 is way too big of an answer for this, so we need to now incorporate the decimal. We have, we have to figure out how many numbers are to the right of the decimal on the top number and the bottom number. So we have two numbers to the right of the decimal on the top number, 1, 2, then one number to the right of the decimal on the bottom number, 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. We need three numbers to the right of this decimal. 1, 2, 3. Put the decimal right here. And our final answer is going to be 7.968, which obviously makes sense when you look at this number. And that's basically it. That is how to multiply decimals. It's a very simple process. The key factor is that you want to multiply the numbers as if there aren't any decimals. So just do regular multiplication as if there aren't any decimals. Then you want to add the decimal in at the end. It makes it so easy to multiply these decimal numbers. It's super easy. And I've outlined the entire process with you in in this video tutorial. Follow these steps and you should be able to multiply decimals easily. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.